Entä kuka peävo olpam tekijänä? Olpam tekijä tiraito. Avo entä kuka peävo olpam tekijä kitavo. Toto entä eviävo. Okei, okay, käytä mihin olpam na futo humbeu jäkete. Avo konsei vuonna, valle tekijänä. Thirty-six years ago, Alaston Ambo made a crucial decision to preserve 500 hectares of rainforest on his customary land in Bukoro. It was a decision he stuck with against the ever-increasing pressure from loggers and oil palm developers who wanted his land. The logging I got, they are more in that you can add a man for us. In potential for it, I'm before it, I'm that way. Number of we be here. He turned the patch of forest into a butterfly conservation and he's kept it ever since. Over three decades, Alaston Ambo has become a butterfly expert. His knowledge of butterfly behavior has been passed on to his sons who have now taken over the care and management of the 500 hectares of the butterfly habitat. I'm home blow all, and all the stuff blow, same happy and also produce him. I'm sorry, I'm egg low backside, you know low here. I'm egg low backside, low leaf blend. Now I'm sorry, that's how come up caterpillar. Now time I'm caterpillar, I'm like, go put him chain now. I'm sorry, cut him rope here. Rope here, I'm... This is one of the few butterfly conservation areas in the Oro province and in the country and it's also home to the large Queen Alexandria birdwing butterfly. Now we've walked for two hours straight, we haven't spotted one of those butterflies and it's because they're very rare. It's also because of this reason that areas like this should be protected and supported. Yeah, we think it's our population. The iconic Queen Alexandria birdwing butterfly is found only in the Oro province. It's featured on the Oro provincial flag, but outside of the province. Many Papua New Guineans have not really been educated on the birdwing and what it means for the planet's ecology. 1983, I'm now conceived. I'm going to go to the Oro province. I'm going to go to the Oro province. The birdwing has very specific needs. And that's what makes it difficult to rear outside its natural habitat. Mr. Ambo and his sons tell me the birdwing comes out only during the mornings and in the afternoons when the temperature is cool. They also don't like fires and they don't like disturbances of any kind. After two more hours of walking in the jungle, and unable to find a live birdwing, we finally concede defeat. But what we do find a birdwing pupa. We also find the birdwing's smaller cousins, also beautiful but more common. Key to the survival of these large butterflies is this vine. The birdwing caterpillars feed on it, and without it, the birdwing would perish. The Ambo family has doubled their efforts to plant the vine so that the numbers of the birdwing butterflies are maintained and increased.
lo conservation lo yupla by look out team na by benef benefit team yupla now mi pla sai look out team lilik time straight mi pla family nine uh, seven pla mangi and mi pla sai look out team this la kam conservation area kam in up now 2019 now angu ya we hene abo na na pra te jupa mo manga pu wi Governor Jupa, our mom and Gapu with a noun day food. Food of a hori top and the forty damn cave with a snap with it. Eh, with an now governor. Evan be fuvete or distress or in a fuvet. Napoleon, you want to don't buy to get distress on fuvet. And get a vision. More pambu to Kito, no pista petato, our oro frega was zumbus of the item. Beau. A butterfly of Hira Jason. Hira Tirato, our co corrector, all from the table, plague hammer is on him. I sent members of my government to Cairns to visit the butterfly conservatory over there in Cairns, and they gave us great assistance in terms of uh, offering information as to what we would need to do. And there is a submission for a butterfly conservatory to be built to the cost of about three million kina. And this year we're hoping to take that on, do some fundraising. I'll be putting some seed capital forward for that. Uh, I believe the member for Ijivitari has also indicated that he wants to be the patron and take this on. Well, that's good. You know, everyone should be concerned about this. And this year we will be definitely doing, you know, more for the butterfly. Uh, I believe that the oil palm company, uh, Saim Dabi, that's on the ground, has also uh, shown an interest in doing something about uh, the birdwing butterfly. Walking through this patch of forest, you see how fragile the ecosystem is. And for years, Mr. Ambo has been pressured to give up his land for oil palm or small-scale logging. He has refused despite not getting any support at all for this personal project.